What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're here with a new Let's Play on our channel. We are going through the Dawn Guard DLC. We are using a character I used for another Let's Play where I used uh, a random character generator to make a character for us and we had to figure out how to complete uh, his whole character sheet. Um, so I'll put the character sheet here because we're still going to go ab uh, abide by the rules that we have set. Uh, this build only uses uh, conjuration, bows, so archery, um, destruction magic, heavy armor, alchemy, and smithing. Those are the only perks we can, or only skills that we can put perks into. Um, so yeah, that's our character. And uh, this is Red Scale, the 11th. He's an Argonian. He's level 22. And uh, pretty much this is what we have. Uh, destruction, conjuration 38, 39 respectively. We have archery up to level 70. It's probably your best skill. Um, sneak is pretty high up, but we're not actually using sneak. Um, so yeah, we p could put points in heavy armor any time. I think we have a perk we could use here. Oh, oh, oh! They use this Christ. There we go. Uh, but yeah, one of the last things we have to do on that character sheet is what the fuck? Oh sh! What the fuck is that? A dark elf showed up. <laughs> the last thing we have to do on our character sheet is actually. Um, Holy shit, I'm missing all my sh shots here. Is do the Dawn Guard DLC. And I figured I would do it as a different uh, Let's Play. Uh, so that way, if people didn't really want to get into a 30 part Let's Play, they didn't have to. Um, so this way, we're starting over new. Maybe more people would like to look at it and be like, oh, I like the Dawn Guard DLC. And they'll watch me go through it. Um, but if not, I don't blame you. The Dawn Guard DLC is my least favorite DLC. Um, but yeah, also this is my uh, companion, Aranea. She's a spellcaster. I put this new gear on her. She looks fucking badass and has children and a cape and a hood. So yeah, and uh, right now we're actually near the location of Fort Dawnguard uh, where we need to go to start the DLC. So let's go ahead and go into Dayspring Canyon. Alright, that was a pretty fast loading screen. Yeah, RNA is our only follower we can have. Uh, I might make an exception for when we get dogs, because um, you can get the husky-looking ass dogs um, through the Dawn Guard DLC. And um, another disclaimer: we are actually on the side of uh, the Dawn Guard. Uh, that's because our character sheet ruled that. If it would have old Volkahar, uh, we would have been with Volkahar. But I really, really hate playing as vampires, so I'm really glad we got Dawn Guard. Truth is. Uh anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess? Yeah, probably not. Uh, I recently did the he first mission for the Dawnguard DLC on my stream, so sure this is, uh, all familiar for me. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. I don't know, RNA. This guy seems pretty must be it. frightening. Dawnguard. Bigger than I expected. It's a pretty big fort. Um, so yeah, are you gonna keep walking? So I can kind of give a rundown on this character. Uh, we use the bound bow a lot because it combines with our conjuration and our um, archery that we can use. This place looks almost deserted. Yeah, man, like no one's here. Uh, but I think I'm gonna use uh, crossbows when we get the chance to use them. And just to role play, I'll probably put on the Dawn Guard heavy armor when I get a full set of it. Uh, right now, I'm using the Stormcloak armor. Um, that's a part of my Immersive Armors mod that I have installed. Um, because I was a Stormcloak last, and that's the last thing we did. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of uh, mods, and I hopefully will remember this time to put all the mods in the description of the video. If I don't, just complain in the comments, and then I will. Wish me luck. Yeah, no problem, man. We're, wish you luck. We're, we're also going to join, so we'll help you out. New recruits. Mm. Yeah, new recruits, man. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. Thank you, Celine Dion. I called him Celine Dion because his name looks like Celine Dion. It was, a, it was funny. You know why I'm here. The vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to 
the safety with the Dawn Guard. Is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't so that enough you? for you? Oh shit, no, no, no. Sorry. Uh oh. I stopped the conversation. Oops. I got too close. I was trying to listen to that guy because he was like talking really quietly. Um but yeah, I guess we well, can talk to him. Ready to join the fight against the damn vampires? Um what can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. Was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. All right, fair enough. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. Um, I'm pretty sure I can find a full set of heavy armor here. Uh, but I'll, I'll wait until we actually get some more companions around, and then I, I finally figured out. Um. Oh shit, nice. I'll take the gold. Oh, 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 there we go. So pretty much what he's talking about over there is that uh, this Vigilant of Sindar here, Tolden, is actually going to go to Den Hollow too. Yep, there he, there he goes. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. So yeah, um... He's going to go there as well. We're going to go there in a little bit. I'm just looking around real quick and see if I can see any. Um, I would like to get some more uh, crossbow bolts. That'd be kind of cool. I would like to switch from bound bow to crossbow, but I'm not really sure. Didn't I tell you to step forward? So this uh, the instant interaction is pretty funny. What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe. When wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paws axe. <laughs> Stendhal preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Ah, uh, a crossbow? Yes, Never. A crossbow. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. And this is kind of cool. If you can. See where he shoots? You can walk up and actually take the steel bolt out of the thing. Uh, but yeah, I like watching these interactions. I do this a lot when I do my Let's Plays. I try to catch every cool little interaction you can. Um, and I also figured out why I couldn't hear that uh, Vision of Sindar. because I didn't have my other headset on. Or the other ear and my headset on. So the... Um, Dim Hollow Crypt... Crypt? It's right here. I don't know if I said Crypt's so weird. Um, right by the Hall of Vigilance. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel uh, down to the bottom of the mountain, and I'll see you guys uh, as soon as I get there. Alright, so we're about to come up on the Hall of Vigilance. Uh, another thing, I have the Convenient Horses mod installed, so I have my horse upgraded a little bit to run a little bit faster. Uh, we also have a horse that Aranea rides herself. Holy shit, you see her? She was floating there. Her horse runs pretty fast too, and she'll get on it whenever I get on my horse. But I figured we should check out the Hall of the Vigilant and see what he was talking about. The whole place got ransacked by vampires. And uh, it looks like the vampires had a pretty good go of the place. Uh, there's a lot of dead uh, vigilants and not a lot of dead vampires. Well, actually, there's a lot more dead vampires than I thought there was. Um, but yeah, a lot of dead vigilants. If you come here without installing the DLC, I believe it's okay. But as soon as you install the DLC, um, 
the whole place is fucked. It might just be the Dawn Guard patch, actually. I'm not sure. I guess it, I, you, you would have to get Dawn Guard to get the Dawn Guard patch, I guess. I don't know how it works. Uh, but this path is also a path you might be taking if you go do the Daedra quest for Mayrune's Dagon. Mayrune's uh, shrines at the top of this place as well. Arne is showing up. There she is. Arne is like... Arne is pretty much my waifu. Alright, she's Red Scale's girlfriend, pretty much. I tried to install the mod to get them married, but the mod didn't work for whatever reason. Uh, so that didn't work out very well. But, uh, they're still married in my eyes. In my heart. That's kind of cool look. I wish my computer had better graphics. Because, like, that looks like shit. And if I turn fast enough, that disappears. Anyways, enough about my shitty computer. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get in Dim Hollow Crypt. And just like the Hall of the Vigilance, this place isn't here unless you have the Dawn Guard DLC. This is a new added location. Super spoopy. Alright. So, I know there's some bad guys here. So, sneak is not one of the main skills I use. What the f- What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is- Where's my bow? What the fuck? Where's my stuff? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell's going on? It's invisible. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. What the Okay, there we go. The fuck? Alright. So they were talking about uh Clan Volkahar and shit. But uh <laughs> I was too busy worried like my weapons disappeared. Like they were they just disappeared. Alright. So we don't use sneak on this character, but I still use it as an ability. I just don't put points into it. Cause as an archer, it's pretty good to get some sneak bonuses out. Oh that was a sick nasty shot. Um there's gotta be something I gotta check here after a second. We gotta make sure this is on master difficulty. We don't wake up for more no less than master difficulty. I think I fucked that saying up. It's like we don't wake up for less than a billion dollars. Um, massive vampires dead. Ooh, red guard stuff. We use heavy armor, so if we see any uh, cool heavy armor, um, a lot of this stuff is uh, immersive armors. So that's what it's all about. But uh, there's some. There's we might pick up like ebony armor sometime, or something sometime. That'd be kind of cool. There's always an enchanted sword in there. Check the chest. So the last time I did this quest, I did it on my stream, which you can check uh, my videos, and there should be a playlist uh, where I show my stream, where uh, where I, uh, holy shit, where I stream and then I upload it to YouTube. I stream on Twitch and then I take that and upload it to YouTube. And I'd done this quest, and I had a f hell of a fucking time beating this place. But we were like level like eight, so hopefully at level twenty two would make it a little bit easier. Alright. I know there's some skeletons that like to doot doot over here. There's some uh, spoopy scary skeletons. Man, I'm really glad we got the perk that makes us uh I don't know I don't know how to say it. Knock our arrows faster. I guess that's the correct term. Alright. I've been I've been saying this for if you guys watch the this is a random Skyrim Let's Play. Or Skyrim Random Let's Play. You know how much I talked about I should use more destruction magic and get that leveled up? I still don't use destruction magic, and I really should. Like uh it's my other damage ability and it's only level thirty eight. So it's like pretty weak. We don't even have impact yet. Which is like one of the best destruction perks you have. But it's just like the bow is just so good. 
Um, oh yeah. We have the amulet of articulation. I don't know if that really matters, but now you know we have that. Alright. There's some sections I might use. I might be able to use uh, my destruction magic. So we'll use them there. Like, I think this part will be okay. Um, because it's a uh, vamps fighting uh, Draga. Alright. So pretty much you just gauge these fights and see who's winning. And then you attack the one who's losing. Or who's winning. Arnea, you wanna you wanna help me out? You wanna help me out? You wanna shoot some people? You wanna kill some bad guys? No, you just wanna stand there looking at me? Oh shit. That dog. Oh shit. So Arnea enjoys using um oh fuck. I can take the damage. Oh, get fucking staggered. I really want to use the crossbow, but we don't have any bolts. Uh, Arnea really enjoys using um, chain lightning, and we've had, we had some moments. Well, that's fucking. That's, that's creepy. Um, we've had some moments where she kills me with her chain lightning. I don't know how. Sometimes her chain lightning will affect me and kill me. It's happened a lot. Actually, it's happened three times. Each time. Super frustrating. Oh shit, how do I shoot? Oh, Arnea. Uh, oh yeah, also Arnea is the the priestess of Azura. If you do the Azura Star Quest, you get her. I've never actually used her as a follower before, this. And I'm, I'm really glad we got her on a random on our character sheet because she's pretty sick and nasty. She does shit tons of damage. Way better than Lydia. Lydia doesn't do jack shit, man. Um, and I know that these uh, these alleys, you don't have to come down these, but I just like to get everything. Now I'm, uh, I thought Chef was gonna shoot at me when I picked this up. Strange. Um, continuing on. I think we can use lightning again up here. We should be okay. And uh. Yeah, we use lightning magic. I don't remember why. Get duded skeleton. And then we got badass skeleton. He has armor, so you fucking you know he's badass. Sparks. Oh damn. See like that? Arnea just does shit like that. And fucks everything up. In the good way. Fucks everything up in the good way. Oh crap. Um uh, we picked up some cure diseases, right? There we go. That will make it so we don't actually have to go back and find a shrine to heal ourselves at. Come on, Nightingale Bow, do damage. Oh, what the fuck? Arnie just punched her in the face. Oh, now she has chill right now. Oh, you healed? Yield that. She can't. I shot her. She'll be dead, so she can't yield. <laughs> it's a, it's a joke. All right. We also have, we also can conjure some uh, familiars to help us fight. I know this place up here gets a little bit hectic, and we have a bunch of dogs. Uh, some death, death hounds. <clears throat> that sounds not right, but I, death hounds. They are death hounds. That's weird. That doesn't sound right, but it sounded correct. Or it is right. Oh, oh crap. Uh, we'll heal ourselves up real quick. <laughs> I didn't even mean to take that much damage. Also, the bad thing about not having restoration as one of the skills we can use is that uh, we can't put um, perks into it. But to be honest, we could just say F it to the... Um, to the character sheet and just do whatever with this character now. And that might be something I think about doing in the time. Uh, in the later time. Because the whole point of the last let's play I did was that we were to finish the character sheet by abiding to these rules. It was pretty fun. I recommend checking out. I think it's like 29 episodes. So, not bad. Um... 
Man, this is going way smoother than when I tried to do this on my level 8 by myself. <laughs> without any followers helping me. Alright. Ooh, a chest. Light your vascular shield. So this would be a more civ armor stuff. Or it might be weapons. I don't know what shields fall under. I know they fall in fall under apparel in the game, but I don't know about in this. I think the vampire is gonna win this? Yeah, the vampire's gonna win this, so we're gonna focus him. We ran out <laughs> We have no magicka. We have two hundred and forty magicka, but we need to get enchanted stuff. Okay, that's light armor, I think. Cause that looks kind of sick. Oh, suck it. Oh, think you could have run away. Did he just go through that door? Did he legit just run away? That's not good because I don't really want him to aggro the people in the next room. Uh, the people in the next room killed me about five or six times last time I tried to go through this place. So I really hope he didn't aggro those people. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. I ought to stand up. Where did he go? Stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I I, okay. Fair enough. I don't think you even know what you found here. All right, we'll use the bound bow for a little bit more damage. So Let's we'll just go ahead and back up. So they just executed a vigilant Sendar. I'm pretty sure it was Tolan. Oh shit. Let's see if we can get a shot off on one of them. This should kill the blooded one. Oh, wow. Did not do very much damage. Loker is the tough one, so we want to kill him probably. Alright. So they're super weak for this, so we'll cast that. Then we'll cast lightning to get rid of their magicka, right? Perfect. Ow. Oh god. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> they still hurt me. Make them stop, Arnea. Oh, what the fuck, Arnea? What are you. Oh, you're gonna block me at the door, aren't you? Freedom! Alright. This is turned into a clusterfuck. Some people might call a clown fiesta. Alright, let's do this. Uh, which one's the real one? They kind of actually do look the same right there. Arnea, I really hope you can you can fight these guys pretty okay. I think I fucked up by trying to fuck with them. Alright. Blooded one needs to die. We need to kill one of them. Do we have Fusurada? I think we do. I don't remember what shouts we have on this dude. Yeah, we do. Alright, there we go. She heals herself. We focus Loki, because he's almost dead. Uh, why would you come after me? It's not like I'm focusing you. Alright. Alright, alright. Cast. Cast fire. Lightning bolt the shit out of him. Where's he at? Where are you going, boy? Hellville population you. <laughs> So funny. Alright, that's light armor. We'll pick up the arrows. We need it. This character is also supposed to be using alchemy, but I haven't actually used alchemy at all. I find alchemy like really hard to level up and hard to actually use. Like I don't think I ever need alchemy stuff. I guess we could do it to poison our arrows and shit. Some paralysis at poisons would be pretty sick nasty. vampire dust like what is vampire dust it's just like it just seeps out of their fucking pores or something they sweat vampire dust or maybe it's like they're pissed or something and he's like picking up things with their piss anyways I don't know why I took the thing there immortal blood probably about vampires makes sense to me Did someone literally- oh, sh shit. Oh, I can kill you with magic. Oh, Arnea. So yeah, uh, I want to show you something real quick. This is kind of cool. They have these quarter staffs that are pretty cool. 
If you wanted to roleplay as like maybe like a priest or something, not a priest, but like a monk maybe. I feel like a monk or like something like that would use a quarter staff to try to not be violent. So that's a really cool thing of the immersive uh, weapons. What does this button do? Hopefully it doesn't stab me. Ow, it stabbed me. Man, I would not just be like nonchalant after like, oh, let's figure out this puzzle. I would be crying if someone if fucking something stabbed me like that straight through the freaking hand. That reminds me, there was a this video on the internet of this uh magician. He's trying to do this trick, and he has uh, three styrofoam cups, and he has a knife uh, pointed up, and he's gonna smash the cups with the knives in it, and he's supposed to magically figure out which one doesn't have the knife in it. Needless to say, he fails, and the knife goes straight through his hand, just like what happened to us there. Definitely Google that or YouTube it. It's it's if you if you're not into like people getting hurt and it like bothers you, don't watch it. But it's it reminds me of that so much. Every time it happens, I think of that magician doing that trick. Just like this trick where we make a woman appear out of nowhere. What if she's like never seen an Argonian before? And she's like, what the fuck is that? You here. Um A man named Isran. Isran, sorry. I don't know who that is. Is he like me? Um Are you a vampire? Yes. Why are you locked away like this? That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Um, where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Serana. Is that an elder school? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, but why do you have an elder school? It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. I don't have time to explain it to you. I don't have time to explain it to you. Alright. So, this is like where... The, the, this early in the DLC is where the DLC started. It's like, I'm a vampire hunter. And it's like, this vampire, just because she has boobs apparently, it's like, hey, take me to my house. And we're like, yeah. Yeah, seems like a, seems like a good idea. I don't see how any of this could go wrong. And how my leader of my vampire killing guild wouldn't see anything wrong with this. Totally down with this. So th this is like where the DLC starts to lose me. And it's like the first thing you do. It's just like, why would I ever help her in a million years unless I am on the Volcahar side? But I think it's just a way so you can actually decide if you want to be Volcahar or if you want to be Dawnguard. And I guess it's... You gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, what if she's never seen Argonian before? And like, she disappeared before like, people knew about Argonia and she's like, wakes up after like, 10,000 years of slumber. And she's like, what the fuck is this lizard scaly man? Alright. Enough of being racist towards my own kind. Lizard people. What the, what's wrong with your tail? Alright. So there's enemies in here, but, uh, pro tip, if you're playing along at home, make sure to come to the right of the room, and on a table, you can find necromantic healing. We'll take a look at that in a second, and we'll be a true, we'll make a guide inside of this video. Um, necromantic healing heals the undead target 10 points per second, but not the living, Atronachs or machines. I'm not sure actually how that works. Is it, like, healing hands? I don't think I've ever used it. Healing hands are like heals people in front of you. Yep, so it's like healing hands. So instead of healing anyone, it will heal undead. So it's like if your follower is Serana and you want to heal her while she does damage, um, that would be the way to do it. Pretty neat. Oh man, I can't even one shot Draugr's, man. Oh crap. Man, really, 
can't wait until we get the upper graded crossbows. It's gonna be so awesome. I think actually crossbows and um, crossbows and bows are two different things on the character sheet, um, but they both fall under ar archery, so I'm going to use crossbows, because crossbows are literally the only thing in this DLC I like. Because like, the worst thing about this whole entire DLC, which we'll come to uh, very soon, is the Soul Cairn. I fucking hate the Soul Cairn. And I'm debating on if we're going to do everything we can do there, or if we're just going to do the bare minimum. Alright, kill that Skeletor. Skeletor, no! Oh, fucking Skeletor. Okay, got him. Oh, there's a Skeletor right there. Yeah, so usually you think of the skeletons and you just like, oh, you just get one shot by him, like me almost. Uh, but no. Excuse me? I was stuck. Um, but these guys are pretty strong for whatever reason. They've decided that since they have a little bit of armor on, that they are strong. Um, and that was all of them. Come over here, you get a shout. Oh god. We got to work. What? What? Are you serious? When's the last time we saved? I didn't think that would kill me. Oh my god. Alright, so let's just pretend that like, that little mishap, 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 mishap didn't happen. Pretty much what I did, I was just lowered the difficulty to novice, and then just ran back to where we were now, so I don't have to worry worry about it. We, wow, man, I, I, my English is uh, depleting fast. I think that means we need to end this episode as soon as physically possible. Oh, wait, we did switch back to the master, correct? Because that seemed like it did a lot of damage. Yes, we did. All right. So I kind of forgot about the big badass Draugr that's like the boss of this place. And apparently his shout will one-shot me. So that's a uh, pro tip. Shout will one-shot. Ooh, get kill cammed. Um, and he's asleep on that bench over there. So it's oh, actually let's get the scale of bros first. Oh, right in the rib. Don't know how that hurts them because they're skeletons. But I ain't gonna argue with Skyrim logic. Like this is gonna do like no damage to him. Yeah. So we might have to, like, dance around. Wait, was that my Atronach up there? Or did RNA die as soon as mine spawned? That was awkward timing. Um. Okay, dodge that. Okay, so we need to heal, apparently, because that will one shot us. Um. Wow. That will one-shot the shit out of us. Holy shit. Are we gonna die still? Alright, no, we're not. Holy, but holy shit, man, we cannot move. Man, we should get the frost breath. I mean, shit, it does so much damage, we should use it. But it won't do that much damage for us. <laughs> like, like one-shots, that's ridiculous. We have four people nailing on this dude right now. Or, five people. Three people, an Atronach, and an undead dude. That's kind of a cool shield. Uh, we're not going to use shield, so I'm not going to pick it up. And it's light armor, so... Fuck that. Chest to chest. Ooh, I like that. I want to pick up the glass war axe because... You don't, you don't really see that much glass stuff. Glass is, like, I think it's like more rare than ebony. When I play, anyways. So we get stamina drained by Talbot. So that means we drain stamina, I guess you could say. Alright, so it looks like here is the end of the line for this place. Goodbye, Dim Hollow. So we're here at the docks. This boat will actually take us to Castle Folkohar. But hopefully, we can see where the hell. Uh, Serana went? There she is, and there's her fire horse. She conjured this, and it was super cool. 
It must be through the convenient horses mod that happens. Uh, but yeah, we take this to Castle Volcar. Man. I don't know if I've ever been here since I... I've been here once since I had the graphics mods installed, but uh, looks pretty cool. Got anything to say to me? This is the place. Um... <laughs> you can tell her not to uh, ride the fiery horse. That's kind of cool. But I thought she wants to say something to me before we get inside. Maybe she don't. Hey, so there we go. Before we go in there. Uh, what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Alright, thank you. After all these years, Lady Serana's back. Now that's something. Whistle, whistle, or whistle? Huh? There we go. I know, I know, I need more practice. You've done well. Uh huh? Done well? You mean I would finally be able to whistle for my horse? Of course. Thanks. <laughs> so we have horse whistle added. This is through the emer of the. Um. For <laughs> calling in a horse for convenient horses. So. I watch the game. So if you do that, apparently you call for a horse. Is that it? I think a horse is down there. <laughs> Enough mess around, just getting vocal heart. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Oh, there she is. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my elder scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? I guess I have the scroll. Of course, she has I'm the scroll. delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Redscale the Eleventh. Who are you? I am Tarkin, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. What happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare Man, your Man, this chewing is getting to me. be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer now. Make your choice. I don't want to become a vampire. 
I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I vanish. Ow. Man. Did I just get drugged or something? Why am I... I can't see. Holy shit, it's bright. But we got kicked out. And now we have the quest New Order. We must speak with Isran. But I think we've done enough for one day. We'll continue our series uh, in a little bit. Maybe this uh, Let's Play will be either daily or every other day. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. If you do me a huge favor and leave a like on it, that way I know you guys enjoy it. And that way I'll keep the series going. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Whoa. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Clayton, signing out.